Ben Affleck's wife is finally addressing her split from her husband of just about two years. They're still legally married, but J-Lo is reflecting back on their short union and about love. She's not one to just sit at home quietly and do nothing. So J-Lo is on the cover of the new issue of Interview Magazine, where she chats with comedian Nikki Glaser and has a lot to say. So gather round and let's get into this because I have a lot to say about her lots to say. <laughs> While acknowledging the challenges that have come her way over the last few months, Lopez says, quote, I think that's what I love about life, that there's no arrival point. There's only getting better and growing if you want to. It's either growing or dying, and I don't want to do the dying part. Cosine. I see so much of myself in Jennifer Lopez. Well, except people are not throwing themselves at me, but our work ethic, J-Lo, Madonna, and me, we have a lot in common. <laughs> But, she adds, and yeah, there's times when I thought I figured it out and then life goes, let's send you another thing and see if you fall for it. Let's see if you really have learned that lesson. And I hadn't. Mmm. He's a lesson. I like how she's framing it. She's a helpless romantic. That's the lesson, right? I can, I'm translating for you. She's a helpless romantic. He was dangling that cake in front of her and she fell for it. And she should know better because she's all about being healthy and the cake not healthy, right? Right? But ever the optimist, she's excited to be single now. Yes, you might not think so because you are all, oh, she's always got to be in, in a relationship. Well, JLo says she's very happy not to be in one right now. She also adds that she's not looking for anybody right now, okay? J-Lo says, quote, now I'm excited. When you say you're just going to be on your own, yes, I'm not looking for anybody because everything that I've done over the past 25, 30 years, being in these different challenging situations, what can I effing do when it's just me flying on my own? What if I'm just free? Well, luckily, she's not on her own. She has an army of people helping her. Business manager, manager, agent, publicist, family. She's so blessed. She is blessed. You are blessed. And of course, all the money. Listen, better to be alone and rich than alone and poor. Better to be unhappy and a multi-multi-millionaire than unhappy and broke. But remember, broke is not broken, okay? Okay. And she's got a lot more to say. Oh, yes, she does. Instead of blaming others for <clears throat> things, J-Lo says that she's been looking inward. Quote, the work is figuring yourself out. It's looking back at the feelings underneath and the belief systems that we have about ourselves that make us make certain choices and create certain patterns in our life. Sounds like therapists speak. Good thing. <laughs> Therapy is a wonderful thing if you can afford it. I wish it was free for everybody. <clears throat> and so when you get to a point where you think that you've learned the lessons and then it blows up in your face again, you realize, okay, I haven't. So what is it that I need to look at right now? I would say never stop looking inward because it's so easy to blame everybody else. Okay. And the reason why she's not looking for another relationship right now, all you J-Lo haters is, you have to be healthy. You have to be complete if you want something that's more complete. You have to be good on your own. I thought I learned that, but I didn't. And then this summer, I had to be like, I need to go off and be on my own. I want to prove to myself that I can do that. Okay. It was effing hard. It feels lonely, unfamiliar, scary. 
It feels desperate being by herself. Okay, okay. Finally, we're getting to the good stuff. Let's rewind and read this again. On being alone, J. Lo says, it was effing hard. It feels lonely, unfamiliar, scary. It feels sad. It feels desperate. But when you sit in those feelings and go, these things are not going to kill me, it's like, actually, I am capable of joy and happiness all by myself. Oh, this is so good. Buried the lead. I mean, but it's in chronological order, all right? Um, being in a relationship doesn't define me. Being in a relationship does not define her, okay? All you J-Lo haters. It just enhances if you find the right partner. And I really like her introspection. I don't know if she's learned all the lessons yet, but have I? Hell no. Have you? Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I like her and, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And she's doing what's best for her at this moment in time what she thinks is best. And obviously she didn't tell us exactly what caused the split with Ben Affleck because maybe she did learn. Maybe she did learn. Maybe she didn't say, oh, the paparazzi or this or that or the other. She's keeping some things to herself. Thoughts on what she did say? Let me know in the comments section.